think we flew in the day before from uh, Hawaii. I was my, we were really jet lagged. And it's, you know, it's always weird when you're uh, backstage at one of those things. It's all kind of random people turning up. You don't know who's who. And this guy approached me. A little known band named The Cure came up to us, said, boys, seen some of the stuff online. Love what you're doing. And he had a picture of Robert Smith that he wanted me to sign. I'm like, what the fuck? Robert was actually like, you, you know, you really remind me of uh, when I was younger. The thing with these idiots is you never know how they're going to respond if you say no. So I've learned that over the years. The main thing you have to remember with these guys, Linda, is that, um, you know, they're celebrities, but they're just people at the end of the day. He said he actually wrote poetry. I mean, it looks like a total <laughs> but he's actually, you know, quite interesting to talk to. The key is just to talk to them like a normal human, yeah? Just be like, hey, I'm Linda. Um, and he'd be, hey, I'm Roger. And rather than going, I heard you're in The Cure, you say, like, um, what are you up to this other? We kind of bonded. It was, like, almost surreal. This, like, guy didn't have a shirt on and he had, like, uh, gaffer tape over his nipples. I had a napkin and a pen spare and I thought, I'll write him a little poem, you know, I thought that'd be nice. I came up with the title first, I said, Once in a Blue Moon. Um, and I'll recite the poem for you, he goes, It is just once in a blue moon. That one meets a friend so true. Two souls dance and intertwine. If but only for one night. I may not ever see your face again. But I will hear your keyboards roar in Byron Bay and in my heart. Forevermore, forevermore. I was genuinely moved by it. I could write you one now. Um, you might have to text it. I'll text it, text yeah. Text it later, yeah. text it in. Cool. You just offer me your number. <laughs> After we finished talking, I found them on YouTube and I listened to it. And what do you think? Well, it's shit. It's absolute f 